With the 19th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jeffrey Simmons, defensive tackle, Mississippi State. I'm going to make this promise to you guys today. I would not let you guys down. I promise. From the shotgun, Rivers to throw it. Stepping up. Sack! Big Jeff! When you walked in the doors here the very first day after you were drafted, this entire team had a plan for you. From the trainers to your coaches, everyone knew how they were going to try and help get you back on the field. How quickly were you able to jump in with them and really get started on the rehabilitation process? I mean, honestly, um, especially like when we first had the report here, you know, because before I got here, they already told me the plan. You know, when you come in, we're going to attack the rehab. My first day here, I did rehab with them. So it's like, you know, from that point right there, I knew like, you know, I have to come on and lock in, trust their plan because, you know, my first day here, I'm already, you know, working, you know, doing rehab. So at that time right there, I just knew it was time to work. So, you know, from that point on, it's been, you know, trust their plan, trust um, Coach Ray, Todd, you know, everybody plan that they have for me. So. When you were in the thick of it, what is that routine like? Because not only are you putting in time in the training room, you're also trying to get to know a defense and get in the routine of being an NFL player. So tell me what your daily routine was like. I mean, that's what was one of the hardest things, you know, especially, you know, learning a whole new defense, and especially on this level, you know. So like um, some mornings, like my rehab started at 6.30 in the morning. So I'm, you know, like I said, from the drive I have to make, it's like, what, 30 minutes? So I have to get up enough time, like 5, 5.30, you know, to prepare myself to get here for rehab. And, you know, I'm, I'm in meetings, so, you know, I had to get in my rehab, my lift in, before I actually go to meetings. So it's like, you know, I'm doing that, then I go to meetings, you know, I'm, I'm not getting them reps in right at the time, so I had to really lock in and just, you know, focus on what Coach T or Coach Ray, you know, trying to teach the other guys in there. So, I mean, that's the thing, you know, like I said, it was kind of challenging for me because, you know, I wasn't actually getting a rep, so I had to try to memorize everything, you know, right then and there. So, you know, but over time, you know, it's kind of got easier because, you know, I was spending more time with, you know, I even had, you know, sit down meetings with Ray, you know, I'm sitting down with Coach T, you know, just trying to get extra work, mental reps, so. What was the hardest part of this process? The physical rehabilitation or mentally trying to stay up to speed the whole time? You know, I tell everybody this whole process is mental, you know, because, you know, it's kind of one of them deals like, you know what you have, you know that you could play football, you know that over time that'll come back to you, you know, how to your technique, you know, go run down a straight line, that'll come back to you. So the whole thing is with mentally because, like I said, you want to be on the field, you know, you've never been out this long. So it's like, when can I actually just go play football again? And, you know, like I said, through the whole process, I just have to, you know, remind myself that, you know, God has a plan for me and, you know, just trust it. And, you know, like I said, I feel like 99% of it were mental to me, so. As you went through this process and you started to get a little bit stronger, you were doing a lot of work with Mike Vrabel one-on-one. -on -one. How valuable was that time to you to be able to get some time going up against Mike Vrabel? I mean, you guys were really going after it sometimes. You know, that's one of the things, you know, um, I'm sure a lot of, you know, people are like, you know, there's not too many coaches that do that. And, you know, I'm grateful because for me, you know, coming to a whole another defense, you know, it, the different style of play is different here. You know, um, the way Coach Ray teaches, you know, for the strike guys up front, your hands above your eyes, and your butt back, you know, that's totally different from me because, you know, I'm taught to, you know, come out, you know, no matter what, just, you know, just come off the ball. And, you know, that was a big thing, a big change for me. My whole life I've been playing, you know, just coming off the ball. So, you know, with Brave over there showing me, like, exactly what he wants, that was a big help, you know. You also had a chance to spend some time with Jarrell Casey while he was doing some rehabilitation while he was on the PUP list. Being able to establish a relationship with Jarrell so early in your career, how valuable has that been? And that's that's one of the big part, um, big things that helped me out a lot. You know, watching Jarrell, especially on the field, working with Coach Vrabe, um, watching him do the rep and be like, you know, at, when I do the rep, you know, he he coaching me, you know, saying this and that, you know. And Jarrell been playing this game a long time. You know, I have respect for Jarrell. He won our leader on his team, leader of the defensive line group. So, you know, just learning from him that was big for me. You know. Being able to learn from a guy like that with a lot of experience, you know, that's another part. Like I said, I'm grateful for that too. So.
When you were drafted, you promised the team and Titans fans that you were going to make them proud. Do you feel like you're finally getting to a point where you can come through on that promise? Yeah, and, and you know, I, I always think about that, you know, because everyone always like DM me this video, you know, of my draft day. You know, that's one of the things I always think back on, like God put me in this position for a reason and that's why I made that promise. I'm quite sure, you know, I feel like I'm gonna hold up to that promise and now that I'm getting ready to get on the field, you know, like I said, trusting Coach Raymond playing whatever they had me doing, I'm gonna do it to my full ability and from that point on, you know, it just play football and, and that's what I do, just go out and dominate. So.